Hi, Andy Anderson here. Most likely, you already have one or maybe even several lenses or want to buy them. And many of you like high aperture fast lenses. I definitely like. But have you ever wondered what is the maximum aperture value of a lens can be? Or maybe what is the minimum aperture of lens? Now, without the long introduction, I'll tell you about all of that. Firstly, short explanation for a new members. A camera's aperture settings control the area where light can pass through your camera lens, and the value of this indicator are usually defined as F stops for standard lenses and T stops for special sign lenses. This value affects both the brightness and depth of the field of final image. And a brighter lens with a less aperture value has a shallower depth of a field, thus producing greater blurness, so we can get a nice bokeh. However, if you increase the aperture, then the background will become sharper. So, a smaller aperture value means a larger hole in a lens, and vice versa. But you asking, what are the theoretically possible limits of a lens aperture? Most available lenses will use the 1.4 to 22 aperture range. Actually, values from 1.4 to 2.8 are still not so common and used only with fast lenses. But sometimes there are lenses whose aperture value is less than 1. One of the most famous is Carl Zeiss Planner 50mm f 0.7. In total, there were only 10 lenses made. One was kept by Carl Zeiss. Six were sold to NASA, and three were sold to film director Stanley Kubrick. The last one used these lenses when shooting his film Barry Lyndon, which allowed him to shoot scenes lit only by candlelight. And this lens was able to get very close to the limits of possibilities of glass. The focal length of a lens can be approximated by an equation called the lens maker equation, and it looks something like this. If we apply this equation using index of refraction of glass, then we get that the minimum f number is 0.5. Also, do not forget that the lenses do not consist of a single lens, and also include, uh, for example, a spherical elements. And all this affects the overall speeds of all system. And of course, if we will use an other materials, except glass, maybe diamond for example, we can get a lens with a bigger speed value. But just imagine how much such a lens would weigh, and how much it will cost. But everything I have said applies only to cameras with standard mattresses. For self-education I recommend to watch a recent video from Media Division on how they created a camera with a depth of field equivalent to an impossible 0.3. They are awesomeness. By the way, what about maximum value of aperture? Everything is simple here. In a sense, a fully closed lens hole will mean that f tends to infinity, but the smallest lens hole can be equal to size of one photon of light but using this aperture is pointless. For a lot of lenses, getting to some place around f11 or higher results in loss of sharpness, f32 in about the top out point for 35mm lenses. So, do not forget, bokeh is good, but it's much better to get the background right and use it in storytelling, than just blur everything to a sauce. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was interesting and helpful for you. If it's so, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. See ya!